Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Thursday. How happy are you Thursday. doing today? It is day 87 of the Quarantine Gardeners and we're so happy you're here. This is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects around our yard while under quarantine. And hopefully you're getting some really good ideas for your yard too and maybe even some inspiration. We're so thankful you're here today, you guys. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, we welcome you. We're Sean and Allison. That's us. And if you wanna go ahead and subscribe by hitting that button down below, and you'll be able to watch our videos as we post them. Today, we're gonna deadhead our African daisies. Have you got, do you guys grow African daisies? They're beautiful. They usually bloom all summer if you keep them deadheaded. So that's our goal. Yep. So we've got one behind us. We're gonna show it to you in just a minute. Besides yep. trying to keep it blooming longer, like Allison said, we also wanna keep it tidy and keep it healthy. So we wanna clean up those dead blooms. Okay, you guys, and by the way, P.S., we have not planted this yet. So another reason to kind of tidy it up. Um, this is our not so beautiful right now, African daisy. Here's one bloom left. I mean, it, it's a gorgeous like burgundy color, Margarita Rioja Red, so otherwise known as Osteospermum. This African daisy, it likes full sun, it likes well draining and rich soil, and so you can see it's looking really healthy so far in its pot. We want to get this out in our yard, but we're not sure where to plant it yet. But you can see it's got new growth coming in, even being in the pot, which is super cool. That means it's healthy and it's getting enough of the nutrients and water to get that new growth up. You can also see it's got a new bloom coming in right here that's developing. And then also to the right of it, there's another one right there. And to encourage this African daisy to keep flowering, for these to keep flowering, we want to definitely get these dead blooms off of here. In general, what happens for most plants is when the flowers get fertilized, the plant lets the flower die. And this signals to a lot of pollinators that they don't need to come to that flower anymore. The flower is faded, it, it's not worth going to, there's no pollen for them, so they skip it, they move on. And that's a signal, this is one of the signals that plants put off for pollinators to move on. And also, seeds are developing, usually in these flowers, these spent flowers. And so when that happens, biologically, this sends different biochemicals down the plant and signals the plant to stop flowering overall. And we don't want that to do that. So to bypass that, we're gonna, cut these blooms off so we don't get that biochemical reaction and have the plant think it's done blooming for the summers. To get this done, we've got our favorite hand pruners, our Corona Classic Cut Forged Bypass Pruners. And so we're gonna get to it. And to make sure that this plant is still photosynthesizing and getting all of that energy it needs, we're not gonna cut too much of the stem off. We're gonna go down to here. We're just gonna cut just above that leaf, but we're gonna keep those leaves. You don't have to. If you wanted to, you could come down here and clip it off there. So guys, I just told you to cut it basically right back to here, keep those leaves. But actually, if you look into this, you can see if you go back down to where the newest growth is down here on the stem, where this new shoot's coming up on this axle, you could literally cut it down here. And now there's none of that old growth. All you have is new flush growth. It's gonna shorten the plant in this case, definitely, but it's also opening up the canopy for that new growth to really get out there and grow and make room for it. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. And something else to keep in mind, the more dense your plants grow, the higher the probability that it's not gonna have enough airflow through the canopy of it, and that can lead to great places for different insects, and moisture to collect and diseases to get in there and do their thing and hurt your plant. So this is another good reason why we're actually gonna get in here and clip a lot of this older growth back and expose that newer growth. with the way it turned out and it looks a little small right now but the way that Sean explained to you how we were gonna deadhead it it will really produce a nice new flush of growth so we look forward to that it'll have a lot of new area to grow into a lot of space and it'll just be healthy I think the hardest part is we don't know where to put it so that's gonna be our next task so guys leave your comments and questions down below for us we'd really appreciate hearing from you Go ahead and give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our newest videos. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. And with that, we'll be back tomorrow with another new project. So stay tuned, have a great day ahead, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, see you tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye bye.